Hey Gemini, welcome. This is going to be what messages need to come through towards you. Um, it's going to be a bonus reading. It's going to be timeless. Whenever you feel drawn to the title and to the pictures, that's when you know it's meant for you. You know Gemini always take what resonates and then always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus sign readings for additional clarity. And at any time you would like me to tune in to just your energy, you can click on the link below. It'll take you over to my um, Etsy shop. And over there, I offer a variety of readings. All right. Let's see. We're going to do an energy of your energy, your animal spirit energy that you're showing up as and the person coming towards you. All right. For my Gemini spirit and the person coming towards them. The person that they are meant to be with and Gemini's energy. Canary spirits sing your own song. Feeling very confident and very unique, Gemini. It's like you're feeling very vibrant, you know, you're moving towards, um, you're moving through your life with a lot of confidence, as you should, you have worked very hard for the confidence that you have. And it's almost like the empress or the emperor type energy. It's like shining from the inside out. And people are being attracted to that energy. A card of three. And Sandpiper Spirit, be playful. A card of six is the energy that your person is showing up as. Very playful energy, very lighthearted. Um, never too serious and likes to bring laughter into a situation. You know, it's one of those types of people that you find yourself disagreeing with or about to argue with and then they say something or do something very funny just to break the energy. Always playful. All right, let's see. For my Gemini's. We have separation. So this is definitely somebody that you have parted ways with. No contact. You might be dreaming about them. And Spirit's clearly saying focus on your own happiness during this time. As you are. If you're singing your own song, you're allowing that lotus flower to open up. You're allowing that ascension, that transformation happen within you. And being at a crossroads, the two of you, needing to make a decision. This could be a crossroads whether you know you are thinking about a career and a future in terms of your own security or whether to foresee this connection. Could you handle both? Do you need to focus on one or the other at this time? Um, depending on each situation, it's going to be different. But it's like both of you are at a standstill because of those crossroads and a soulmate connection. It's like these two people come together. One of you may have a dog or you may have you know purchased a dog together. But it's like you're climbing that little, um, that little hill. And moving on towards the the beauty that's just beneath the like just beyond the bridge companionship all right let's see where am i guys give me one second sorry i didn't have my deck all right we're going to do past present and future energy between you and this person of swords so you have retracted you are in separation you're spending some time alone and some time you know getting grounded possibly meditating connecting with your spirit guides this is an amazing energy to be in this is you relaxing and taking a break maybe taking a small vacation 
um, but you receiving those amazing messages from your spirit guides that you do receive during this time. We're going to pay attention to synchronicities throughout this reading, but I definitely feel like you have retracted your energy, their energy. They want a breakthrough. They want clarity. They want truth to be spoken and they want a brand new start. They want to proceed to the future with you. And for it to be a success. This is more air energy. So you could be dealing with an air sign. Um, obviously Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or they have strong air in their chart. And the future. Holding back. It's like both of you want this connection, but who's going to make the move? Both of you thinking about each other and knowing that you're at a crossroads and how do you proceed forward? This also could be like two people working on their stability, saving. Let's see what else comes out. The Knight of Cups. See, wanting to make that romantic gesture, but holding back. I feel like where there has been a delay... There's going to be rapid movement with the Ten of Swords and the Fool. It's like both of you are manifesting this, thinking about wanting, wanting one another and manifesting this. There's going to be growth here. You're going to overcome this Ten of Swords energy. And I feel like it was something that needed to happen to bring more light into the situation. To reach that peak of the mount, mountain separately and be ready to come together. Get additional clarity. For the April giveaway, I haven't decided what it's going to be, but I will be deciding momentarily. I have reached out to those two people that have won the 25 to 35 minute reading. So I'm just waiting for them to respond back and then I will choose the April reading. For those of you that are new, I'm so grateful you're here. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, what I just got done explaining is that I do monthly giveaways. March was two 25 to 35 minute readings. April will be a brand new beginning, um, a brand new offer. It could be three readings. It could be four. One time I did 12 for each zodiac sign. Um, but I haven't decided what April's is going to be. But by being a subscriber, you can take advantage of the giveaways. And I'm just waiting for two people to respond for March is I randomly choose those people at the end of the month and reach out to them. Um, so please do check your notifications for those of you that have um, participated in the March giveaway. Check your notifications because I have reached out to two people already. And then very soon, um, you'll be watching this, I believe, on the 1st or the 2nd. I will be deciding April's giveaway. All right, clarifying the Four of Swords. I got to tell you, what might, what might be causing this crossroads is having multiple offers. You know, meeting somebody at a time where they might already be in a connection and knowing like a deeper union exists here as a soulmate connection, but being at a crossroads because there might have been an already existing connection. I have water energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Earth energy. Um... Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Yeah. That's why the, the end needed to happen. There was too many energies showing up in this reading. All right, let's see. There's the Three of Swords, exactly. It could be two people that met each other and one of you might have had an already existing connection. Or it could be two people that are completely single now because there's separation here. So the two of you have definitely been in a union. Well, it could be two people that were completely single, 
met each other had other energies that you were entertaining or dating, trying to find the one that you wanted to be with. And maybe somebody didn't act accordingly and cut those cords and make a decision. But I feel in this time of separation, somebody realizes this connection and a decision is made. I feel like the water energy is making the decision. Let's see what just came out. Ten of Cups, Page of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles. Now you could have met over social media. You could have met on a dating app. But I feel like there's an offer coming towards you. Yeah, the sun is going to shine. It's going to be reciprocated, the emotions and the feelings that you've been putting out there, Gemini. To this person, please clarify the Knight of Cups being here twice. I feel like this water energy not only were they focused on their career and their finances, but they've made a decision. I feel like you retracted your energy and walked away and it put them like, you know, I need to, I found, I found happiness with my Gemini. I loved the energy that Gemini brought into my life. I, it was a very playful connection. It was something where the two of you connected and you always had a good time together. But I just feel at the time it was like a lack of commitment here. But now there's going to be a brand new beginning. Let's see. What else can you bring to light for me? For my... Yeah, see, there's commitment going to be offered here. Because you had the courage to walk away and separate from this connection. It's like you weren't made a priority because there was existing energy here. And you put that distance, you put that retreat in motion. You definitely put limitations on this person when you walked away. And now the scales are about to be balanced. Karma in your favor. And there's the sun. The strength. They're about to express how they feel about you, Gemini. Alright. Let's get a card. Of guidance. And it says, look how pretty that is. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. See, people that have passed on, Gemini, that you may not even be aware of that are watching over you. Your most recent loved ones that have passed on and your ancestors are divinely guiding you. Anytime that you feel alone or in this separation and, and it's causing anxiety or fear or you feel like you're on the outside looking in, you're not alone. They're right beside you. And for some, I feel like you've already, you've already have figured this out. You already feel that their energy beside you. And that's why you're singing your own song. You've got the confidence now because you walked away. You took back control. You either see me for the amazing gift I am or you can bounce. And they're realizing how special you really are. All right, let's get Scrabble tiles, guys. We have Z, A, O, B. Your person may own a boat or you may own a boat because as these Scrabble tiles were out in my hand, literally said boat. There's the T. We have K, E, H, all right, and the rest are repeats, guys. So this is what I got. Look for your initials or your person's initials. They could even be letters within your name. Focus on the messages that I brought to you. And you know what? Because you've already known this person, let me get a message 
from them to you. A message from Gemini's person. All right, they all fell out. We're taking them. My heart will forever be yours. And I feel like in the distance is what they've decided, is what they've realized when they couldn't stop thinking about you because you've retracted your, your energy. That's why they're coming in with this loving gesture. I love you. I told you it was going to be reciprocated. I needed this journey to understand my feelings. And I know you are the one that got away. And that's why they're coming back quickly. All right, Gemini, always let me know how this plays out in your life, how it resonates. Um, again, go ahead and subscribe so you can take advantage of the April giveaway once I um, announce it. And it, this happens each and every month. And then um, make sure if you left a green emoji for March that you go back to your notifications and see if I reached out to you. It was only two this month. Um, I'm a little behind on my Etsy reading, so I'm trying to get caught up. And that's why I really could offer only two. I've been sick. This winter has definitely been hard on me. All right. So much love and light, Gemini. Have a good rest of your weekend, and I will be back for many more weekends. Many more readings and weekends. Love and light.